Okay, in the last episode, we found the next Cristiano Ronaldo, and his name is Luca Santos, our second Youth Academy player of the series. And on his debut, he scored the winning goal versus Chelsea. So yeah, he might be pretty good. Now today we enter the January transfer window, and we have got some defensive problems in this team. So I'm thinking we make some kind of defensive signing. And also, Grant Potter, he might have a formation change in the cards as well. So if you're enjoying the series, then of course, drop a like, and let's get back into it. Now we start this episode with a Grant Potter press conference, where he says it's no shock to say our defense has not been good enough and for us to challenge for trophies we need to make some changes now first comment today though please play till you win the trouble yeah i mean win the trouble would be the ultimate goal of the series that would truly make this team the best team in the world the wild thing though is that we've not played a like champions League knockout game yet at all in this series that's probably gonna happen this season but it feels like we're still far away from even thinking about winning the trouble now next one you should give elise more game time yeah now elise is kind of a it's kind of a tough one here he's probably the only signing we've made so far that i'd say has been a flop like i'm not sure i've scored with him actually in a game since signing him and uh, when we have players like Phillips, uh, Almada coming through, even Lucas Santos, who are kind of better than him, or at least made more of an impact, it is very tough. So I'm not sure about Elise's future in this team just yet. And last one, please sign Florian Verts as he's the perfect Bruno replacement. Yeah, Florian Verts is 89 rated at 21 years old. That's insane. And he would be a pretty, pretty good signing. And I'll say this: Bruno Fernandez, his contract is running out next year. So obviously for now he's not leaving, but you never know, that could change. But okay, yeah, like I said, we got defensive problems in this team. We just concede goals like way too easy, even though our defense does look pretty good on paper. I'm not sure whether it's Casemiro's speed playing CDM, whether it's like Frankie de Jong's inability to defend. I'm not sure. So Grand Potter has devised a plan here. We are going to switch to a basically a 3-4-3 or at least try not officially switch. We're going to try it though. Now it's the same 11 players, just in a different setup. Basically fullbacks push forward and Casemiro is dropped back into a center back to form a back through with Martinez, Casemiro and Bermare. I'm thinking that way Casemiro doesn't have to run around as much. And then Dallo and Mendy are both really good going forward. So they could of course push forward. So this should keep our attack pretty good, like scoring goals, but it might make our defense that much better. So we're going to try it today see how it goes and it might affect our uh, transfer strategy in january too if this goes well and our first test with this uh, new formation it's going to be one of the biggest games of the season versus man city so at old trafford it's a huge test now we're still in first 15 games in on a two-point lead though so man city four points behind us so it is still so close to the top now, unfortunately uh hoyland rashford and mount are still out rashford and hoyland should return at some point in this episode so it means we're heavily weakened i would like to uh, start santos again but i think i gotta start almada first man city we gotta go with our best team possible right now and that's it so a uh, slight new formation and there's no better test than manchester city you got to imagine with casemiro back there our defense should be better now bruno fernandez is the one player that's kind of like displaced here being now a midfielder compared to a cam so that's the one player i'm kind of worried about affecting his role in the team but if it makes our defense better that's definitely worth it we shall see how this goes all right mendy to garnacho gets it to memphis memphis into the man i just said about bruno fernandez that shot is gonna be blocked though see so yeah, a man city signed Mizraoui. that's a pretty good pickup all these teams around us are getting so much better so quickly but they're still playing mac in the midfield they always do this Okay, we just gave up a free kick in a very good spot now. And Kevin De Bruyne is probably going to score this. Kevin, please don't. Kevin, he actually uh, dinks that in. And Trafford just got taken out. Uh, Ref, you didn't call a foul there? That was Holland. I forgot to say also, we are giving Trafford a chance to start a trap. Because Trap has not been good at all. So Trafford, he's 22 years old. It's uh, his chance to win that starting keeper spot. Bruno into Frank De Jong, who's got space for the shot. That's rising, but Ederson will catch it. Good cover by uh, Almada there. So far, defense actually looks pretty solid. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx it, though. I like the way the structure looks, the formation. Saying that, though, this is pretty good. Okay, Bermer. I wasn't even controlling him. What a tackle by, by uh, Bermer, though. Almada gets it to Dallo. Now Dallo's gonna run here a little bit. And he is gonna cross that thing in. Goes almost to Garnacho. Header, Bruno. Back. No, that was meant for Deong, actually. Deong gets it over into memphis to pie memphis to pie scores the first goal of the game okay very decent attack 23 minutes in that's one nil our attack doesn't look much different that's uh, that's a good thing because our problem is not scoring goals it's conceding goals but memphis great finish all right one nil 24 minutes in nacho gets it to bruno into memphis memphis always oh, in way for almada almada is actually in here tiago almada is he on side He's actually on side. It's 2-0. Our signing from MLS, Thiago Almada. Great finish. Hey, so far, this formation is working. And uh, Memphis, good timing with Almada there. Okay, 2-0 in what? Under 25 minutes? 26 minutes. That is pretty insane. Not at all what I was expecting. Now, I'm not sure if we've caught Man City on a bad day or something. If they've uh, definitely declined in the last season. But this is a wonderful start. Now, McAtee, though, into De Bruyne. That's a great pass. McAtee, got to not let the ball get to Holland. If it does, we are in trouble. Mendy, Mendy, Mendy. Great tackle right there. Get it over to Bruno. Now, we can counterattack with Garnacho. Garnacho 
Garnacho, Memphis, get it right back to him. Garnacho gets it back to Memphis Depay. He was going to shoot, and that was almost 3-0. Corner in by Frank and Young. That is going to be Martinez, and that is 3-0. Alessandro Martinez. 38th minute. It's actually 3-0. This right here has been a perfect first half. And look at that. We actually scored from a corner. That is rare in this series compared to our Dortmund series. Man, Pep Guardiola and Man City are just uh, shocked here by Graham Potter. That is uh, Martinez's first goal of the season, too. Comes at a very, very good time. Let's just not let them back in this game. Grealish, Grealish, Dallow. Dallow did well there. Just calm. No mistakes. Get it out. Good pass out. Vermeer gets it up to Amada. Amada runs for that. Now we're going to switch it to Garnacho, who's going to head it all oh, beautifully done. Berlin Mendy gets it to Bruno. Bruno waiting for Memphis. Memphis. I see you. Memphis to Pi. Great run. And it's 4 0 to Manchester United. This might be one of the most perfect games of the series so far. Like we are just dominating Man City. Just the defense leading to the attack at Memphis. What a finish. He has been very solid in place of Hoyland's uh, injury. Man, first half 4 0. That was literally perfection. And this game might be already over. I don't know. Once again, I'm not sure if it's the formation if man city are having a bad day probably a combo of the two but so far we look good in this uh it's kind of like a 3-4-3 also like a 5-2-3 i feel like it's more so a 3-4-3 though yeah like we have not let man city attack pretty much at all here go in driving forward bruno can make that tackle now de jong is gonna try to help out to get it to nunez see if they can uh, get through this defense yeah they kind of did there de bruyne we got numbers though see martinez good tackle we got numbers and everyone covers each other i like it and now the counter attacks have been so swift de jong dallow oh ball is gonna sniff that one out he had space there grealish grealish Bermere. what a tackle on grealish de jong Bruno, man, they're pushing up right now. We got space. Martinez gets it to Garnacho. Bruno into Memphis for the hat trick first man city. And of course, it's going to be saved. That would have been very nice for a Memphis. He still might get it. We have been just dominant in this game. Mendy. Bruno to Memphis. Bruno just fell over. Memphis, get it out to Dallow. Now, Dallow is going to whip this in. Numbers in the box. Bruno is not going to reach that one, though. And he switch it to Dallow. We're finding space on these wings. We're spreading them so far thin now. Dallow, another cross. That, of course, is deflected as a handball. No, that's not handball. I wish it was. But still, we are just actually dominating the ball versus Man City. That is probably the first time that's happened in this series. Bruno into Alejandro Garnacho. That shot is blocked, though. Yeah, I don't know how Mendy just stole that from Holland, but he did. And Man City are in the mud right now. Fernandez to Garnacho. Good first touch. Garnacho. Far post cross is going to go to. Okay. Almada, you got to go with your head there, not your foot. Man, we're going to get this five goal, though, because their defense looks so bad. It looks like our defense from last episode. Tiago Almada scores. And it's 5 0 versus Man City. What has happened this game? I don't know, but okay. We got like five subs coming on, like Manu coming on, Alex Scott. We got Lucas Santos. We got Noah Phillips. So two youth players on. And this has been a quite literally perfect performance. Here. Now that's finally a good ball by them, which uh, Macti, Mendy, good defending. Realish versus Mendy again, Mendy. I trust you. Didn't really do much there, but Maxi shoots and Trafford. Good save. De Bruyne cross in. Santos. What a clearance by the next Ronaldo. And Alex Scott wins that to Almada. We got space again. This could get much worse for Man City. Almada gets it to Alex Scott over to Lucas Santos will left footed shot. It's blocked by Akanji. That is unfortunate. And I was thinking we had to make big changes in January, but after this game, I'm not sure anymore. Does this mean our changes don't have to be like that drastic? I do not know. Final kick of the game. That's going to be cleared by Maynu. Okay, what was that? That looks so awkward. But ref blows whistle, a 5 0 win in the Manchester Derby. I couldn't ask for much better than that. That's probably the best win of the series, I think. Okay, we've made it now to January, though. The transfer window is open. Now, our first move was Ivanovic leaving on loan. That is the uh, next Imani Vidic. Our uh, youth center back we found in the last episode. We just have so many center backs. I couldn't find him game time. So he's loaned out to Azed where hopefully he can grow until next season. But now we got to think about what we want to do in January. I think one player that I for sure want to sell is going to be Michael Elise. I feel like right now there's three or four players ahead of him. So it's so hard to like fit him into this team. And he hasn't impressed so far in this series at all. And that'll open up time for Phillips, Almada, and also uh, Lucas Santos. So Elise, if we find the right offer, he's pretty much gone. Now, the other one I'm thinking about is kind of, this might be controversial here. Well, I guess I'm not really thinking about it because he has submitted a transfer request and that's Aaron Juan Bisaka. Now the issue is he wants to be a starter in this team and Dallow is just simply better than him look at their stats Dallow's got better defending physical stats better passing than a Saka. and I like him as a backup but he wants to start he's 27 years old he wants to get a starting role in the team and that's just not going to be here at Manchester United so we are going to have to sell Saka, and that opens up a right back spot in this team but with our new formation it's kind of like a wing back and while I think Dallow plays there very well there's a player that we could sign that could play that right back spot that right wing back spot and also play in the midfield or a center back spot if we need him to and could be down the line like a Casemiro replacement and it's a player in real life who looks like he might be leaving Leaving Bayern Munich, that is Yasuo Kimmich. I mean, Yasuo Kimmich would be so good at Manchester United. And whether it's at CDM or right back, he's one of the best players in the world. And instead of letting him leave on a free agent basis where Bayern get nothing, they're open to selling Yasuo Kimmich for the right fee. I mean, if you look at his stats, he can literally play anywhere in our team. And I'm thinking about playing him over Dallow in that right wing back spot, and then Dallow becomes a backup to uh, both wing back spots. My one worry is his pace. He's not really that quick to be on the right wing or that right mid spot, but I think he's so good technically that that might outweigh his pace. And then season three, season four, maybe he becomes like a CD 
medium again and fully replaces Casemiro. And hey, he's not going to cost that much, actually. Of course, his contract's running out, so Bayern are willing to sell him for a little bit less. And he'd just be perfect in this team. So we're going to try to offer about maybe 73.5 million. See what Bayern say to that. And they're just going to flat out accept that. His contract might be running out, but this would be a humongous signing for Manchester United. And you know what? I think we're doing it. So just like that, Yasuo Kimmich accepts his contract and he signs for Manchester United. And we have just signed one of the best players in the world. And like I said, whether it's in the midfield, whether it's at CDM or right back, he is going to be amazing in this team. So Yasuo Kimmich, welcome to Manchester United. So if we move Dalo to the bench over Wami Saka and then uh, Kimmich then comes up to play right wing back. I mean, that looks like a great pickup and a great fit for him. And then like defensively, we got Diong to help him cover and also Bermeer on his side. And then I think later down the line, like season three, season four, he could move to the midfield later on. But that is a huge, huge signing. And it's now time for his debut in its first Arsenal away. So not an easy game by any means. Now, I should say also that Hoyland is finally back from injury. So Hoyland's back. Rashford is super close and then Mount is still out till February. But Rashford should be back soon. So we go with our best team, plus also now Kimmich at right back. And uh, let's see how he does on his debut. His passing, his dribbling, and what he can do defensively too. On that right side can be so special in this team and give us like a whole another dimension. Now, Arsenal is probably not going to be an easy game, but last game versus Man City was easy. So I still never know what to expect in these games. But Kimmich, let's see what he can do. For such for United, yes, we can make welcome to United officially. And also welcome back to uh, Rasmus Hoyland, which that pass is not going to get to Almada. Almost did though. Now Kimmich, decent run here. Going to play to Bruno. Bruno is going to wait for Kimmich. Feeds him through actually to Almada. Okay, Almada steals it. Can't get the shot away though. That was very sloppy. And we just have like a wall of defense now where I feel like we're so much harder to break down. But okay, pass out to Kimmich again. Kimmich. Decent touch there. Now he's going to play a long pass to Mendy. What a ball from Yasuo Kimmich. Mendy. Okay, that was meant for Garnacho, not Bruno. That just ruined this whole chance. Bruno gets it to Frank Young, who shoots. And Ramsdale was going to save that one. Bro, that initial pass ruined the chance, though. Young to Yasuo Kimmich. Why not get a shot here? Yasuo Kimmich, are you kidding me? What did he just score? What have I just seen? That's how you score on your debut? Bro, those shots from that spot in the field always, like, look so good. That's like a sweet spot for long shots. And Yasuo Kimmich from this far out, he's not even known for this, but that thing had so much height on it. How about your first goal for your new club? Okay, that replay, Ramsdale was invisible, but hey, what a debut goal for Yasuo Kimmich. Yeah, he might be a pretty good signing. I think we already know that. He might be a good signing. That was insane. See, before, when they'd break our midfield, like they'd break Bruno and uh, Casemiro, we'd be like, four men back all spaced out now we got like five men back after that so our defense just looked a lot more uh i would say sound although although casemiro casemiro good tackle actually i thought we were gonna concede right when i said that and it looks like our attack is not really suffering at all from the change either garnacho mendy still making his runs he is gonna swing that in all the way to oh man Almada was ready for that real gets to patino but yasuo kimmich what a tackle on martinelli there his uh first 25 minutes has looked very good and here he is again yasuo making a great run now he's gonna try and cross this all the way to garnacho which not a bad cross. Yeah, I think we got a free kick in a very good spot. We get a chance to score this. Yes, we do. And Almada's got 87 free kicks. Let's give it to Almada. Bruno has not scored one in this series yet. So Tiago Almada. This would be a pretty nice goal to score. It is going to be. It's gonna hit the wall. That is so sad. Young Yasuo Kimmich. Get it to Hoyland. Hoyland turns into Garnacho. Garnacho gets it to Yasuo Kimmich again. He's gonna shoot. And Yasuo Kimmich has two goals from a right wing back spot. What a debut for him. Bro, like I didn't even sign him to score goals, and he has two on his debut. How does that make sense? This finish across goal though that is perfection okay i think he fits that position pretty well for us right now kind of like a free roaming just right mid slash right back right now Diong feeds it right back to yasuo kimmich is, is he gonna get a hat trick on his debut for uh right back slash cdm bruno fernandez gets it out to man we are just so wide and it's causing so many issues for them ramsdale's gonna catch that corner across though but we are making arsenal look just like man city look they look helpless in the attack we are just dominating the ball again bruno to garnacho okay ben white caught up there and that's half time okay two nil just so far what a debut for Yasuo Kimmich. Now Casemiro's gonna get it to Diong. Diong over to Kimmich. Kimmich into Almada. Almada back to Yasuo. Now he is gonna swing this in to Garnacho, who is making that run, but he's not gonna get it. Tonelli gets it to Anasiri, but Casemiro, strong tackle, man. He has looked good in that three at the back. I gotta say, probably everyone has looked good, though. Not one player in this new setup has looked bad. Now, as I say that, they have their most promising looking attack, which Casemiro. I thought he was going to cut inside there, but Casemiro does defend well there. All right, first sub, Lucas Santos, the next Ronaldo coming on for Almada. See what the next uh, CR7 can do this game to help us seal it, maybe. That is if they don't score here, which Mendy, Mendy and Bermere, good team defending there. Now, Casemiro is going to feed Hoyland in here, but yeah, Gabriel has that covered, unfortunately. Hoyland has been kind of quiet this game, but I mean, it's his first game back in like two months. What else can we expect? Now, Martinelli feeds that into Yenisiri, into Charlie. Was that Charlie? Uh, I think it was Charlie Patino, right? It was a good block in the end, but they win it back. They still have Frankie de Jong. Arsenal are going to make their push. It should be right now. Frank 
Frank de Jong is hurt. That is not good. Martinez makes tackle, but Frank de Jong, you better not be injured. We just had an injury crisis. And players coming back, we can have more injuries. Now, the commentator is saying his foot is the issue, so hopefully uh, he can run it off or something. I don't know. Arsenal are slowly coming to life here. Berardi. Gonna cut inside there a little bit. Mendy, Mendy, good tackle though. Okay, I think we might take De Jong off and put Kimmich in the midfield. That is a luxury of signing Kimmich that he can play there too, obviously. Yeah, they are definitely playing better here in the second half. Much better. De Martinelli gets it to Enesiri into Patino. Trafford makes a good save though. Hey, Trafford has looked good. He might be winning that uh, starting keeper spot. All right, so Dallo on for De Jong. Kimmich to the midfield and then Alex Scott on our left wing. Hopefully this prevents uh, De Jong getting injured further. Or maybe not getting injured at all, hopefully. And we got eight minutes to still prevent them getting this game, which they have not up until this point. Enesiri versus Martinelli. Martinez, what a tackle. The problem is this ball is just not being actually cleared. Casemiro, no, we can't clear that. And they're going to score. Wait, offside? Oh, they're offside. That clean sheet stays alive somehow. Bro, they are putting so much pressure on us, though. Bermer, Bermer, that is strong defending. Trafford, just clear that. Good clearance. Bruno, Kimmich, into Hoyland. Kimmich, into Santos. Santos, good ball to Dallow. Dallow over the top. Oh, the keeper's going to get to it. No, Hoyland gets to it first. Hoyland, I needed a first-time shot there, though. I didn't want him to take a touch. Okay, not the most clean second half, but two goals. Miyasu Kimmich is going to win this game. He gets one final shot here. I mean, not again, right? Not again, right? And Yasuo Kimmich with the long shots. Bro, what a debut for him. Like, it's incredible. And he's also got the, like, corner play style. That one is not going to be scored, but chance for someone. Nope. Okay, that's full time. Man, 2-0 no win. Our defense uh, stood strong there despite Arsenal playing much better in the second half. What a debut, though, for Yasuo Kimmich. Kimmich nets Bray says May United beat Arsenal. Of course, he's got to take every headline possible. I mean, finishing is probably one of his lowest stats along with volleys and penalties, but it didn't seem like it there. I think he might prove to be one of the best signings we make in this series. So I am so excited about that. Now, more good news is that it looks like De Jong is not injured, so he's fine. So we avoid another injury there. So all in all, just a really good game. And now after that game, Yasuo Kimmich gives a little interview and he says that he couldn't ask for a better game to make his debut in. The entire team played very well. And he also says it was time for a new challenge in my career. And I feel I made the right choice. Hey, let's just hope that he did. All right, now Elise has been officially sold. It's unfortunately pretty much the only failed transfer we made so far in the series. Just uh, didn't really work out for both sides. Now he is going to Inter Milan though. That's a very good move for him. Now also Aaron Wambisaka was sold as well. He was sold to Real Tees for 30 million. So that's pretty much the two players who wanted to sell gone now. And now the next Ronaldo is ready to turn to a right winger, which he is going to go up to a 73 after that change. And that is beautiful to see. Now our next game is in the Carabao Cup semifinals, actually. We are facing Newcastle and we simmed out the first leg, which we actually lost 1-0. So we're a goal down heading into the second leg. Now we got here by beating Leeds and also beating Burnley. So our path here has been kind of easy, but 1-0 down. Now it gets tough. And hey, there's a chance to reach a cup final. So we are not taking this lightly. And Marcus Rashford is now finally back from injury. So we're pretty much hole other than still Mason Mount for a few more weeks but Hoyland Rashford now back uh Kimmich into the team we are pretty much full strength heading into the most important part of our season and if we can overcome this one goal deficit right now we can reach our first cup final of the year now I remember in season one we faced Newcastle we beat them I think like 5-1 or something so we know they probably remember that but currently a goal down we need to make a comeback here now, Rashford has not played in almost like three months so yeah might be a little bit rusty Hoyland gets it to Diong though Diong why not a long shot of his own that's a decent shot now I feel like since we have Kimmich he should probably take these uh yeah definitely should probably take corners that curve looks insane now that's a pretty good whip in but no one can attack it and it's gonna be caught by pope mendy gets to bruno bruno wait for mendy Mendy should be free there. Now, Mendy's going to try and stop. Actually, plays a decent ball to Bruno. Bruno into Hoyland. Hoyland tries to find space. That shot is, of course, blocked. He still wins it back, though. And Frank de Jong over to Yasuo Kimmich, which he is going to cross that in. What a cross. And then Rashford. Wait, did he score? Why did it skip celebrations? Yeah, I think he scored. Or Rashford on his return has already scored. And what a cross by Kimmich, though. Rashford, what a finish. I don't know why it skipped, like, the entire after the goal celebration. But, hey, that's a goal. Okay, just like that, it's tied up. Although our modded scoreboard doesn't show it. Currently, it's 1-1. That's a quick way to tie it up. I don't know if it skipped it because we're using that school board mod i don't know if it's glitch or something but we'll see i guess if there is another goal which there probably should be now casemiro gets it over to kimmick kimmick is gonna play it over the top to garnacho that oh gets actually a really good ball garnacho Feeds it back to Bruno. What a goal by Manchester United. Bro, we are playing amazing in this episode. Our attack looks the same as it's been, but now our defense looks so much stronger. What a pass back by Garnacho, though. It's taken us 18 minutes to get the lead back. That is definitely a very good start. Rashford to Hoyland. Hoyland's got Garnacho. Garnacho's gonna stop. Wait for Kimmich. Kimmich into Hoyland. Hoyland's gonna try to feed in Garnacho. What a ball by Hoyland. Garnacho's gonna shoot. We gotta score that. That was such a good move again. Oh, there's no way he scored that. There's no way. There's actually no way. Bro, these free kicks from the halfway line are always so threatening. Like, it's just lofted and Isak gets to it and it just lofts over Trafford. Bro, that's just so lucky. Okay, 2-1. So the game is now tied at 2-2. How do they actually score that, though? That is so lucky. Mendy, Bruno has got Diong here. Now, Diong gonna try to find Yasuo Kimmich, which he does. Now, Yasuo, another cross in you. 
That looks great. Hoyland gets it, but Hoyland's header goes over the net. Bro, Kimmich's crossing is insane. So far, the only goal we've considered today is from a set piece. That shows you how better our defense is, which Casemiro could block there. That shows the improvement from the formation, at least. Now, Hoyland. Okay, Hoyland got caught up there by Guimaraes. That goal has given Newcastle a little bit of life here. Garnacho feeds in Rasmus. Rasmus needs to stop here, though. Fires it in to Garnacho. Over to Rasmus. Rasmus, you must score that. Hoyland. How do you actually put that so far wide? Bro, before his injury, he was starting to score goals like every single game. And I feel like now, whether it's his sharpness or his finishing, that inconsistent finishing is back. He's like uh, lost confidence or something in front of goal. Okay, yeah, so with Kimmich, just what a defensive play though, that recovery. He has been amazing on all sides of the field. And okay, that should be the first half, which I bet it's going to be. All right, so currently tied up 45 more minutes and whoever wins reaches a cup final. Okay, Amidon is running through here. We're gonna go for a tackle and it's not a penalty, but they are gonna end up scoring. Of course, Man City, Arsenal, Newcastle. Newcastle give us our biggest problems of the day. Bro, Amidon just ran by our entire defense though here. I thought we made a good tackle here, but Amidon, the patience to not go in there. Okay, we are now down a goal. And we now need to lock in. They make two guards. Garnacho, Garnacho, great turn. Kimmich is still on side. Yeah, so with Kimmich going on an insane run here. That's going to be a shot and it's going to be saved by Pope. I thought Rashford could get that uh, rebound. Young gets it to Bermere. In to Hoyland. Hoyland, good touch there, but it's going to get stolen. Oh, they're going to find Isak. Trafford saves it, and Trafford will get it. Man, they could have ended this game right there. What a save by Trafford. Young over to Garnacho in space. Now, Hoyland, I need a different run from you, which that is going to feed in Rasmus perfectly. Rasmus shoots, and Hoyland, thank you. He is not going to miss that one. First goal scored back from his injury, and this is now tied at 3 3. This is quite the insane game to reach the Carabao Cup final. All right, Young, that's a great interception there. Now he's running, gives it to Garnacho. Garnacho flips it up to Hoyland. Header attempt. Okay, that's not bad but not really that threatening bro that wasn't a foul did joe linton just uh, take a dive there how is that not a foul if we actually took him out that much i think that was actually a dive okay that's not a dive gordon just took out kimmick now i think we're gonna swing this in uh with yasua kimmick gonna try to aim for like right there in that area yasua not the worst delivery but not gonna reach anyone now livermento finds alexander isak man they're finding some holes in our defense right now did not punish us there though and this is a decent chance but bruno loses it to his counterpart bruno gumades let's go into isak man they just look dangerous isak is so dangerous he's like drifting our entire front line looking for space. Pass to Jolinton. We got to make a tackle here. Gets it over to Gadetska. Gadetska shoots and that's blocked by Casemiro. Now counterattack. De Jong feeds in. Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland gets it. No, that pass was so slow and delayed. Rashford was in. We might need some subs soon, but this looks like a decent attack again. Garnacho. De Jong back to Garnacho. I want to cross this, but our crosses have not looked good at all. Frank De Jong swing it all the way to Mendy. Mendy gets it to Bruno. Bruno back to De Jong. Over to Garnacho. Over to Kimmich. Get it right back in now. Hoyland. Decent chance to shoot and Hoyland scores. Okay. Hoyland, I think, has found his form again. It is now 4-3 on aggregate, so we got a one goal lead. And we were patient there. We just eventually found a good shot. It's not an easy one, though. Like, that player is closing on Hoyland still gets a shot away though. All right, two subs Rashford and Garnacho off for uh, Santos and also uh, Tiago Almada. Just got to close this game out now. We got six minutes, but they do look threatening. Cross in Casemiro, easy clearance. Almada gets it to Yasuo and Kimmich in space. Hoyland, you're running offside. Yasuo and Kimmich, that's going to be end up being a throw in, I think. I okay, know it's actually a corner. We're going to go for a short corner. Beat it to Almada over to Luca Santos shot at Pope. He's going to save it, but okay, rebound comes out. Someone's hurt. That is Vermeer, which is not good, but Luca Santos tried to go for that. Okay, Vermeer is actually hurt. We are missing a center back right now. This is not good. Hey, Vermeer, I need you to get back. No, is he onside? He's offside. Thank you, Almidon, for running offside there. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's definitely hurt right now. That is not good, but I think we've seen out this game to reach the uh, Carabao Cup final, and yes, we have. So that is a cup final appearance now. We overcame a 1-0 deficit there, and despite our defense being really tested this game, we still stood strong. Now, I'm worried about uh Brumair, though oh man Brumair injury worries fans that does not sound good so player injured okay he has a hyper extended knee he's gonna be out for four weeks honestly that's not bad i was expecting like a broken toe for three months but a knee thing for four weeks that's not bad i think we can live with that so that does mean Turibo gets more appearances and also maybe harry Maguire. but that could have been much much worse and hey so far 21 games in we have a seven point lead in the premier league next episode the champions league knockouts begin and also of course we are in the care about cup final a chance for our first trophy of the year and it's probably gonna be versus Liverpool. So that is going to be a huge matchup. But so far, Yasuo Kimmich has been amazing on his debut episode. One of the best players in the world. And by the end of it, he might prove to be one of the best signings of the entire series. But drop a like if you want to see more of this series. And if you click on screen, I bet you'll like this video too.